So this is the cart that I'm using right now for my sander and it's got a few little problems to it, but the main one is right here. It is not wide enough for my sander. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna make a new top for this, but I'm also going to take it apart and I'm gonna build a cabinet to go in between these metal sides that will have two or three drawers in there. I haven't decided yet. I wanna use that for some sandpaper storage and stuff like that. I kinda of wanna have all my sanding stuff into one cart. I think that'll be nice to have. So let's get into this project. All right, I'm gonna start by taking this cart apart. So I got all the wood parts taken off and I don't need this part here in the middle. I don't see how it's attached. So what I think I might do is just take my hammer and start smashing away at it. I might have to take an angle grinder to it and maybe cut it off, we'll see. But I'm not too concerned about what the inside's gonna look like because you're never gonna see that when I'm done. I just want these two ends. So now I got the sides all cleaned up. All the, the welds on here were ground down flush. Now next, I'm gonna cut up a bunch of Baltic birch plywood. It's gonna be three quarters of an inch. And I just made a rough picture here and a cutting diagram, how to get the most out of my sheet of Baltic birch plywood. So let's uh, head to the table saw here and we'll get it all cut. So I cut the sides and this piece underneath is the top and the bottom and I also added some edge banding just so that we wouldn't see the edge of the plywood and it'll look real nice and clean when we're finished. Now for the top and the sides, I want that joint where they meet to be a miter. So I'm gonna cut that on the table saw. That's why I haven't cut this down yet because I'm gonna cut it, flip it around and then what comes off will be the piece for the bottom. So let's get that done. So I have the two miters cut, and to reinforce these joints, I'm gonna use some dominoes, and that's gonna help keep them lined up and not slip at all while I'm clamping them up. And then the bottom, I'm just gonna use some pocket holes and screw it together. So I got the glue up all done, and as you can tell, I added a rabbit around the back of this so that I have a place to tuck in the back piece. So while we're waiting for the glue to dry, we can cut the back and install it. And I'm probably just gonna glue it and shoot some brad nails into it. And that's gonna keep this box nice and square. So now that we're finished building the box, it's time to build the drawers and we're gonna cut up some half inch Baltic birch plywood for this. So 
So the construction of these doors are gonna be very simple. I don't like to complicate things too much for shop furniture. Although shop furniture is a good place to try out those uh, new joinery techniques that you don't really want to, uh, to try on, on something that's gonna be nice and something you have to look at for years. So we're just gonna take the base or the bottom of our drawer and we're just going to make a box. We're just gonna glue and brad nail these joints like that. And then we're gonna glue and nail the bottom on from underneath. So let me move the camera in closer so you can see what I'm doing and it'll all make sense. So the glue and brad nails is probably enough to hold this together, but I'm gonna add some screws just to make sure that it never falls apart. Now that the drawers are done, it's time to mount the drawer slides. And what I'm using is just a full extension drawer slide. I really like these because they allow you to reach to the very back of the drawer. Because a lot of the cheaper slides, they only open up like three quarters of the way. So then you're kind of reaching back underneath the drawer above it in order to reach what you want. So these are nice, nice drawer slides. They're a little expensive, but that's something you only buy once. Next, we need to make the drawer fronts. And the drawer fronts are gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna to try to kind of go for a more of a minimalist look. There's gonna be no handles. So what I'm gonna do is, is I have a jig already made up. I've used this on other projects, but I'm just gonna cut a notch out in the drawer front for a handle. So how this piece of wood works is I clamp it to the drawer front and then I use a bit in my router with a bearing on it and I just follow that and it cuts out the handle. It's pretty easy and simple to make. I still got some old tape and glue on there from a past project. Next we're gonna paint up the steel sides and I'm gonna paint it black because I think that's gonna contrast nice with the birch plywood. All that's left to do now is to spray it with some water-based varathane. And I did four coats of this, sanding with 320 between each coat. <laughs> 